What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool career mode episode and this will be a big one because we play Juventus the second leg in the Champions League we have to get through that if we want to win anything and in the Premier League we have three winnable games we are down in sixth place so we have to climb the table we have to finish in the Champions League places once again and guys if you enjoyed this series uh, leave a like thank you so much for your awesome support on the previous episode comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see on the screen you guys are the best thank you so much and also I'm working on other series I'm working on a road to glory series it's a special one with one of my best best friends we are recording a co-op career mode will be a brand new series on my YouTube channels and I've never done a series like that before so I really hope that you guys will enjoy it and I only make one change after the Juventus game uh, Sanchez comes in for uh, the tired Trenox Ronald and we are playing in the snow which is going to be very very interesting we said Simply have to focus on this man. It's been confirmed. He'll retire at the end of the campaign. Welcome to a beautiful snowy Anfield. This is the first snowy game of the season. And I, we are already in February, so we got a little bit lucky. And I made, made the ball color red, so you guys can see it better. Mane. Go on, Jota. Diogo. Jota, please! Jota! It's 1-0 Liverpool! Diogo Jota is on a run and he is on a roll. He is now scoring regularly and he is the benefici beneficiary of uh, Salah and Vlahovic getting injured because now Jota is starting every game as a number 9. He needed a little bit of time to get going but now he is up to like 8 goals for the season and I'm sure he will end up in double figures. That's a good finish by Jota, clinical. Only 6 goals in the Premier League though, but I think we can get him to uh, 10, 12, 15 goals maybe. Surely not. Oh, Alisson, what a save! Oh, oh no! Alisson! Go on. Mane, 2. Jota, 2. Firmino, 2. Chiesa, brilliant! Blasting move, but Kiesa hit the target. Come on. Oh, Loftus cheek. Ooh, Alisson. Go on, Robertson. Jude Bellingham. Ah, oh, it's blocked. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They give the ball away. And Jota! Jota! It's still there! Look at the clock! For once the referee doesn't blow the whistle because we are on the attack and Diogo Jota scores two goals and this is a crucial one just before half time. It's such a big, big goal. Ah, oh, Chiesa! It's all about Chiesa and then Firmino passes it to Jota who first time finishes it into the near post. That's where I think uh, Nick Pope is coming from and that's why he can't save it. Jota? Oh, Jota! Nick Pope saves it, but good try. Sanchez. To Bellingham! Oh, Pope again! All right. Chiesa. Firmino, please! Oh, it gets deflected. It almost goes in. Uh-oh. I can't get there. I can't get there. And Raul De Thomas scores a consolation for Burnley. But they are right back in this. And it's annoying because we have been by far the better team. We created by far the better chances. But Raul De Thomas, and, and first time he shoots into the top corner. To be fair, he is a great player. He's playing for, I think, Espanyol. And he's their top scorer in real life. Really? Oh no. Van Dijk. Oh, Alisson has to make a world-class save. Raul de Tomas again. He is just... Come on, clear it, clear it. Yes, Sanchez. And another header. Bobby. Bobby Firmino. I can't get there. No! Oh, it's almost an own goal. How did that not go in? Oh, my goodness. No way. No, surely not. And this time they hit the bar. We need to freshen things up because Burnley are dominating in the second half. Really? 
Really, Karamo and Alison. Yes, guys, we held on for a 2-1 win, but boy, did we have to defend in the second half because Burnley came at us with everything they had. They threw everything but the kitchen sink at our defense, but we, we held on, and I think uh, we are lucky a little bit that we won this game. Burnley had an expected goals of 3.4. I just couldn't turn the tide around. It was a mistake letting Burnley play in a white shirt for Burnley in the snow. I didn't really see the kids properly in the second half. Sorry if that bothered you. I apologize. Jota was the man of the match with two goals. We found a brilliant left winger, a youth academy player, 82 to 94 potential and his overall is already pretty great so let's promote him to the youth academy. Finally we got lucky with the results because Chelsea lost at home to Sheffield United. I have no idea how that happened and Man United lost at home to West Ham and West Ham are gunning for a top four place as well and we get to try Transfer offer for Takumi Minamino from Leverkusen and don't get me wrong I really like Minamino but he's 28 years old he won't improve but to even if I played him regularly and I want to develop young players I want to focus on developing young players that's what this series is all about apart from of course winning trophies along the way and Curtis Jones will be back in the summer so I want to give him more playing time Harvey Elliott also plays in midfield so I think I will accept this uh, offer it's a pretty reasonable transfer. Talk Minamino will play a lot of games at Leverkusen and, and we have to win every game between now and the end of the season. So I'm playing my best team and we have a full week before the Juventus game. So there is really no reason rest players. The cameras are fixed to one man. Four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. Welcome to the Hawthorns. West Brom are in the relegation zone. So let's smash them and let's continue our winning run. Firmino. Go on, Chiesa! Chiesa goes in! And Jota is wide open! But Johnston saves it. No. How is he? Wide open, but Alisson makes a huge save. Oh, Dowell, it's lucky that he doesn't have good finishing. I think he shot straight at Alisson. Oh my goodness. Go on, Bobby. Go on, Jota, come on. Diogo Jota. He has to finish it. No! Go on, Mane. Back to Jota, please. Jota, save. Bellingham. To Mane. To Jota. There we go. Finally. Diogo Jota makes it 1 0. And he missed so many chances. The goalkeeper made big save. And Diogo Jota is up and running for this game. And we need him to score a lot of goals. He's our number nine. He's in the last season, he was our top scorer. So this season, he played in an attacking midfield position in a lot of games. That's a great finish. Mane. Go on, Mane. Let's go, Mane. Brilliant. Sadio. Mane, you know what? Shoot. Oh, good save. Oh, no. No. No, please, Alisson, what a save. And Bellingham. Bellingham, boom. Oh, damn it. Bobby Firmino, please. Firmino, another save. This goalkeeper, man, is... Come on, key is long. That's a pen! Yes! Chiesa gets fouled! Oh, it's a brilliant skill by Chiesa and I'm not sure, I think that's a little bit harsh but I will take it. Mane needs a goal and badly, come on. Sadio Mane! Yes, Mane! Beautiful! It's a really, really important goal and Mane needs a goal for his confidence. Oh my, that is a horrendous challenge! Chiesa! And Jota! Oh, <laughs> the goalkeeper was on the ground! Yes! That is the, one of the funniest goals of the whole series. I bicycle kicked it with Jota and the goalkeeper was still just getting up. Oh, this is the best angle. Jota bicycle kick and it hits the heel of the goalkeeper and goes in. Oh yes. Yes, Doku. Come on. Doku, please! No! Go on, Doku! 
Yeah, the four! And Jota has to be Jota Hattrick! Jota Hattrick hero! Get in there, Jota! I knew that sooner or later Jota will start scoring and this is the game where he has this breakthrough. Doku with the composure and Jota was wide open in the middle. No. Oh, he's wide open! Oh, that is a brilliant goal by West Brom and I can't keep a clean sheet! That is so annoying. Carlan Grant is a brilliant striker. I'm annoyed even though we were 4-0 up. To lose the clean sheet in the 92nd minute is frustrating. Diogo Jota, hat-trick hero. Six attempts, three goals. Brilliant performance. And we had more than twice as many shots as West Brom. We really should have scored even more goals. We had expected goals of 5.6 and this is a very important win. 13 shots on target, that is absolutely crazy. And of course Jota was the man of the badge but Mane got a goal finally. Very very important win, this West Brom win because now we are just two points behind Man United. I think the title is pretty much gone because Tottenham played one game less and they are still eight points clear of us. But if we could finish in the top four and win the Champions League, that would be a successful season. Last season we did that and Burnley, Southampton, Watford and even Sheffield United and West Brom can't really relax. And uh, Moreno is still the Premier League top scorer but he seems like he just can't score more than 20 goals. He's been stuck on that for like uh, two months now. Salah is still our top scorer but now Jota and Mane has 10 goals each. Big news! Takumi Minamino has agreed personal terms with Leverkusen so he's sold for 6.6 .6 million pounds and he won't improve much. I want to focus on the young players. We have other young players already developing and growing nicely. We have Ed Guy who already went up from a 69 rated player to a 71 rated player. We of course have the big Mexican talent Santiago Naveda. He is still on loan and growing by two rating points. Curtis Jones went up by two. So he's now a 78 rated player. And Song Min Q also went up by two. He's now a 75 rated player. And Neko Williams grew by four rating points. He's now a 75 rated right back. And Cesar Montes is now a 78 rated center back. So he will probably be recalled at the end of the season. And because we have a huge Premier League game coming up in just three days, I rotate the team. And also because we are 4 2 up on aggregate. But I I still think that this team is good enough and capable of to get at least a draw but of course I will play for a victory and Juventus have a more realistic team now Moise Kean starts up front with uh, Müller, Dybala and Diaz in attack and this is going to be a very very interesting and tough game but I'm really looking forward to it A landmark day for the manager his 100th game in charge will he celebrate with a victory? Welcome to Anfield and this is my 100th game as a Liverpool manager so let's celebrate that milestone with your victory Oh no, Moise Kean! Oh my goodness, he smashed it in! In off the post, absolutely clinical finish. And look at this, oh look at this finish. That is a world-class goal. Moise Kean, the former Everton player, of course he was only alone at that club. Wow, what a goal. Alisson, Alisson, get there! Yes, Alisson, beautiful. Simikas. Origi, two, Harvey Elliott, and he missed it, oh my goodness Elliott, you needed to hit the target. Simikas, Thiago, Origi, ah, uh, no, Luis Diaz, he will cut him back, and Moise Kean is wide open in the middle, I knew he would cut it back Luis Diaz and I still couldn't prevent it and what is happening here it's 2 near Juventus we are on the back foot and even though we have been attacking and creating chances we have been missing all of them and look at look at this I mean what is Konate and Matip doing they are just ball watching instead of marking Moise Kahn Matip goes behind the goalkeeper instead of marking Moise Kahn and it's 2 near Juventus and the tie is level on every aggregate absolutely scandalous stuff here to us and I see Origi Go on. Divo Corrigi. And Chiesa is at the back post and it's Frederico Chiesa against his former club. To make 
take it 2-1 we are back in front on aggregate we are still losing this game but we have a 5-4 aggregate and Divo Corrigi I didn't expect him to put in such a perfect cross and Chiesa was wide open at the back post and now Chiesa has three goals against Juventus his former team Origi two Chiesa oh what a save Oh no, 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 no. Konate, please. Moise Kahn is clean through and Alisson with a massive save. Please, Bentancur and Moise Kahn. Alisson! Oh my goodness, Alisson, why don't you catch the ball? How can you be a 91 rated goalkeeper? How can he be so clumsy? And it was this close to being. 3-1 Juventus, I can't believe it. And oh my goodness, Juventus take off their best player Dybala when they need a goal. And I need more firepower up front, I don't want to lose this game. So we bring on Mane and Jota and Bobby Firmino into midfield. Anderson, Thiago, go on. Oh my goodness, that is awful. No, it's Muller and it's Keon and Alisson saves it. Jota to Mane, please. To chase. Mane can win the whole tie. Sadio! Mane! Bang! Let's go, Mane! What a substitution! And what a goal! On the counter attack, Sadio Mane takes a long touch with his hand and then he smashes it home. And this goal, I'm celebrating like this because this sends us through to the quarterfinals. It brings us level in this game and two goals ahead in the tie. Chiesa, have a dig, why not? Chiesa almost scores another one. Müller, to Moise Keon. Okay, Alisson. We gave us one hell of a scare. After 36 minutes, uh, the tie was level. You went to score their first two chances, but then it was all Liverpool. And I think overall we deserved to go through. We were much the better team in the first leg, of course, thanks to the Juventus red card and in the second leg we even had more shots than Juventus and the expected goals was better for Juventus but uh, I think a draw is a fair result in this game and Moise Keon was the man of the match but we also had great performances from Chiesa and Sadio Mane so Barcelona went through but Atletico Madrid lost to Mauricio Gündogan that's the biggest shock of the whole round Real Madrid went through PSG went through and let's see Bayern Munich knocked out Man United, I'm happy with that. And Chelsea, after winning 2 0 in Dortmund, they lost at home 3 0. So Chelsea are also out. See, the only two English teams are Man City and Liverpool. I want to avoid Manchester City, and the dream draw is Borussia Mönchengladbach, of course, but I don't think we will draw them. We get Barcelona. Oh, that is a cracking tie. Barcelona without Messi is not the same force. Man City Real Madrid is also a cracking tie and there is an old German tie Borussia Mönchengladbach against Borussia Dortmund PSG Bayern is also a rematch of the Champions League final two years ago so Liverpool Barcelona I'm all for that bring it on and Arsenal who are leading the Premier League table lost to Ayaka Athens and they are out of the Europa League that is a crazy result I just wanted to show you that because that is insane so I wanted to show you guys what happened in the League Cup after we went out to West Ham United 3 0. Tottenham went through to the League Cup final and Leicester City won on penalties against Fulham. So Leicester will this close to going out and then in the final Leicester managed to beat Tottenham. So Brandon Rogers gets another trophy after winning the FA Cup. And after we went out to Aston Villa in the FA Cup, Tottenham lost the replay. So Tottenham are not having good times in cup competitions. And in round five, Manchester City lost to Aston Villa. So Aston Villa after knocking out Liverpool, they knocked out Manchester City and West Ham knocked out Chelsea. That, that is a, also a big, big result. So guess what? No big teams are in the FA Cup anymore. Leicester, Aston Villa are through and Leeds and Nottingham Forest knocked out Brighton on penalties after a very entertaining 4-0 draw. So it will be Leeds, Leicester and 
and also a lot of Nottingham in the FA Cup semi-finals and this is why I rotated so heavily against Juventus I wanted to play my best possible team against Newcastle we played a 4-0 draw with them at Anfield we were 4-2 up with 15 minutes to go and then Tony and, uh, and uh, Suarez scored goals and that's not the Luis Suarez that we know cameras trained on one man it's been confirmed he'll retire at the end of the campaign welcome to St. Jason's Park one of my favorite stadiums in England an absolutely iconic stadium and now that Newcastle have the richest owners in the world I expect them to improve a lot their team but first they have to stay in the Premier League and let's get this win and Firmino oh Dubrovka saves it Oh my goodness, Tony! What on earth? No. Oh my goodness, how did I give the ball away there? Ivan Tony, great block, great save. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Suarez is in. I have to go out to him. Ooh, Alisson. Trenox Ronald. And I see Jota. Go on, Jota. Please, Diogo! How? <sighs> Come on. Firmino! Dubravka! Bellingham, please! Bellingham, and this time Dubravka is the one who saves it. Chiesa. Go on. Chiesa gets it back! And Dubravka! Dubravka is saving everything so far. Go on. Go on. Firmino! Another save. Go on. Chiesa. This is your chance, Frederico. How? How does Dubrovka save everything, man? Go, Mane. Let's, ma let's go, Mane. Come on, you have the pace. And Mane! Finish! Finally! We break down Dubrovka and this is such a big, big goal. I can't believe that Dubrovka saves everything up until this point. But Sadio Mane with a huge goal. He needed that. He hasn't scored a lot of goals since uh, Salah and Vlahovic got injured. And for once Dubrovka makes a little bit of a mistake. Because he expects a low shot and I blast it a cross goal and now Mane has 11 goals which is still not a great return in 29 matches Jota please Diogo Jota he has done it oh we decided the game Diogo Jota scores one of the goals of the season two great strikes Jota with a magnificent long range Finesse shot into the top corner. Let's go, Jota. Beautiful. Oh boy. Lewis. Virgil van Dijk. Why? Finally, we kept a clean sheet. When was the last time we did that? Oh man, I'm so happy because this was a very tense game. And up until the 80th minute, Dubrovka was the man of the match. He saved everything. But then we could finally get two goals. And I think we thoroughly deserved it. We had 14 shots and expected goals of three. And I think that with seven shots on target, we really should have scored more goals. Mane and Jota both had great performances and Firmino also got an assist. But amazingly, Alisson was the man of the match. I don't think that's right. He made five saves, Alisson. And this was a vital win because if we win our next game, we go above Manchester United on a goal difference. Chelsea won, Man City won, but look at this the biggest shock of the round is that West Brom beat league leaders Tottenham which is a big shock Man United beat Aston Villa sadly and Arsenal won as well so Tottenham's title hopes got a big blow so now if Arsenal win their games in hand they will be the leaders of the Premier League and West Brom are the surprise package of the season they are comfortably in mid-table without any threat of relegation so far Southampton, Watford and Sheffield United can't feel safe Moreno is still the top scorer in the Premier League but he has a massive goal drought 
of like 10 games uh, we have still Salah on 13 goals but now Jota has 11 just like Vlahovic and Mane has 11 as well Jota has 13 assists Firmino has 12 and if we fix the defense we will be fine because we are scoring a lot of goals in the Premier League and Alisson is the top clean sheet goalkeeper Salah and Vlahovic are our top scorers they are still out injured Vlahovic has another two weeks until he's back fit so after the international break but now Mane has 14 Jota has 13 goals and Bellingham from midfield has 10 goals which is wonderful and Firmino has 9 and Kiesa is the story of this second half of the season he has four goals in seven games i decided to transfer this tiago who still hasn't scored a goal this season he's 31 years old so this is probably the time where we get the most money for him and he has 69 finishing and frankly i want to play likes of curtis jones and song min q and naveda in the future so they can develop and i mean they both have they all have much better finishing than tiago and we have one qualifier left from this season we play ukraine and uh, we have to stay ahead of Portugal and Italy and we already won our first game with Spain against Greece but th that was away from home this is at home at the Vanda Metropolitano and we have a brilliant team so we should beat Ukraine but you know how legendary is there are always uh, surprises and this stadium is one of my favorite stadiums because this is where Liverpool have won number six as they call it the sixth Champions League victory and I love that the players are walking down the stairs and it, this feels like a special game no oh that was lucky that is a red card. Come on, referee. Oh my goodness, you bottle job. Soler. And Llorente. Oh, you have like 90 finishing, Marcus Llorente. How do you miss that? Go on. And Moreno. Ooh, he just didn't have enough power. Go out to him. No. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, nice, Simon. Moreno. Your Rente, please! Your Rente! What a goal! I told you guys, this guy has an amazing finishing! And nobody was closing him down, so I felt let's have a shot from distance. And that is another wonder goal with Spain. I already scored one with Carlos Soler against Greece, and this is another special strike. Oh, that is what this Spain team can do. They have goal scorers all over the pitch. Marcos Llorente with a curling effort. Brilliant. That's already his third goal in the qualifiers. Nice. No. Surely not. Ooh, Shepelev misses a sitter. Go on. Soler, this time he shoots. It's wide. No. Oh no, please! Ooh, Simon, let's go Simon. It wasn't a vintage performance, but we got the job done and that's what matters. That's what's most important, the three points. And it was a pretty even game, but I think overall we just about shaded it. We had one more shot, same expected goals as Ukraine. So I'm delighted with the three points and we play. Wow, they, they had five shots on target, I only had two. Yeah, we had five blocked shots, so that's not good. So we play Portugal and Italy next and Llorente should be the man of the match but was it our goalkeeper yeah it was Unai Simon to be fair he saved everything so it's right that he gets the man of the match and it was very important to beat Ukraine because what Ukraine beat Portugal oh my goodness that is a shocker so I think even one draw and a win qualifies us to the to the euros two points that's enough we play portugal and italy next so if we lose both games we could be out but it's going to be inter interesting i mean how did ukraine beat portugal that is one hell of a surprise ukraine has lost every single game before that so i think we are in pole position and the next episode will be an absolute banger we play everton and barcelona in back-to-back -back Champions League games. I'm really looking forward to the next episode. If you are as well, leave a like. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you later, guys.